Yeah, it's amazing. You know, we were here last in 2014 and, you know, that was fantastic. A lot of family and friends, um, you know, were able to get here and, and watch some good racing. But to have the meet here again, it's it's nice knowing that we don't have to travel. Um, you know, home's not too far away and I can sleep in my own bed and, and eat my own meals, which is really nice. For me, this is my first meet of the year. <laughs> you know, I, I, I time trial at a couple of meets um, early on this year. So in terms of my preparation, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how things are. It's, um, you know, complete you know, different comfort zone than what I'm used to with Michael Boll. Um, I'm now with Simon Cusack and, and, you know, we've done things completely different in the last sort of three, four months. So, you know, I'm not sure how I'm swimming. People ask me, are you swimming fast? And, um, you know, my answer is, look, I'm enjoying my swimming. Um, and with that, you know, fast swimming follows. But for me, it's about posting times here and, and hopefully qualifying for world champs. And then, like you said, going over there and, and trying to defend my titles for sure. Absolutely, it's scary. Um, you know, there were sessions with Simon that, you know, he made me look like a like I was learning to swim, you know, and it was, you know, I'd watch Kate and Bronte swim and, and they'd kill it. And I think, you know, why can't I do that? You know, I've, you know, I'm, I'm a good swimmer. I'm obviously, you know, quite well at back, good swimmer at backstroke and, and Simon's sort of making me look like I've, I've only been swimming for sort of three months. So, yeah, it's really scary. But at the same time, um, that gives me challenges and, and that's something that I wanted from the sport. You know, with Bowley, I was sort of getting comfortable with, you know, I knew what was coming. I, I knew the challenges that he, he'd give me. But with Simon, it's a completely different game. And, um, you know, it's brought new energy and new excitement to the sport for sure. <clears throat> you know, it's the first meet that Simon and I have done officially, um, you know, with a proper taper, a proper rest. And so I think for that, it gives us a good gauge of, um, you know, where things are. And I think, you know, going forward to Worlds, hopefully, you know, there's things would change. Um, certainly adjust little things and, and that. But, you know, I think you, you learn that through experience and the more preparations that we can have together, you know, the better we, we become at, I guess, perfecting, you know, what suits me and, and you know, learning what, you know, suits Simon as well. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, you know, the level of swimming isn't higher. Um, you know, it's a Worlds versus Olympics, so all the swimmers are there. But the fact that it's Olympics, you know, it adds that that dream, that um, dedication, you know, it is Olympics. Um, and people, the difference between saying, oh, you're a world champ and you're an Olympic champion is is massive. Um, and so I think that's, that's a big mental game, you know. And for me, that's all it was. I went in, um, you know, putting a little bit of pressure on myself, um, you know, and, and wanting the best swims out of myself. And um, unfortunately, you know, Ryan Murphy got the better of me in the 200 and, um, you know, I got fourth in the, in the 100, which looking back now is a result I'm pretty proud of. and. Um, you know, it's it's some it's probably the two results in my career that mean a lot to me. You know, it's probably not the best result. You know, everyone wants gold. It was only sort of a silver and a bronze and a, and a fourth. But um, you know, it's the ones that mean absolutely the most to me.